There are so many conflicts going on right now in the Middle East. Forget the wider world, just the Middle East itself. Do you know how many millions of people recently have been killed or displaced in Sudan, in Pakistan, in Yemen, in Syria? Not to mention all the other wars and occupations taking place around the world. Two million oppressed Uyghur Muslims under China. Yeah, anyone seeing any big marches out there on the streets? Anyone seeing wall-to-wall -wall coverage where it's literally an icon in the BBC News headline for all these other far more deadly conflicts? Far more deadly conflicts. Look at it, you'll notice that throughout history, whether it's today or in pre prior times, it's always the um, extremes of ideologies. The most, you look at the people that have been most opposed, let's say, to Jews and their modern state and throughout history. It's often people who are in the darkest recesses of human thinking and ideology. And what that means is that if, if the hatred is coming from the most dark corners of the world, dark ideologies, dark uh, ways of thinking, and that means that they must perceive, you know, darkness hates light. And that means that they perceive Judaism, Jews, the Jewish people, as a source of light and an enemy to them in their minds. Which is a real compliment, actually, in a strange kind of way. You know, I, I think if we think about a person who really decided in all of history, he decided to take the cause of annihilating the Jews to, to, to the most extreme, it would obviously be Adolf Hitler. And he was asked by, um, he was interviewed by a man called Hermann Rauschening, who uh, ended up joining the Allies, moving to America. But he had many conversations with him when he, Rauschening was still allied to Germany. And he said, I'm, let me be very clear, I'm trying to bring the world back to being a state of barbarians back to just the animal kingdom, the, the law of the jungle, social Darwinism, that's what he wanted. The dominant, this Aryan race, that's what it's gotta be all about. And who is the greatest threat to that? The people who introduce morality, conscience. He said conscience, this is Hitler's own words, conscience is a Jewish invention. He said it's, it is a blemish just like circumcision. Because circumcision, by the way, represents this idea that we're not going to be governed by all our animal uh, instincts alone and desires. We're actually, we're going to be in control of them. We're going to overcome those urges and channel them, not to deny them, but channel them in holy and good ways. And so for Hitler, that's literally the opposite. You know, this idea of caring for the poor, the weak, the vulnerable, um, this idea of living, of dedicating yourself, uh, your life to something higher than you and your own grandeur so opposite to everything Hitler, Hitler was, was about and he saw the Jews, the Jewish people as the people that introduced this concept to the world.